Pets consume precious resources and grant no tangible benefit to society. That's why I say we should throw them all back outside. It's only right. I threw away my friend's entire pet beetle collection. They have been purged. This is all for the new order. But... I want to keep my rhino stagros. We must accept that we all grow old. I can no longer perform the physical labor that allowed me to benefit society. I no longer deserve to live here. I must find a place far from others. There, I will await a quiet death. This isn't someone accepting that they'll grow old. This is him refusing to grow old. If this spreads, we'll have no more old people at all. Good. It seems you're both still here inside me, then. It is not as though we desired these circumstances. We're only here because you ate us. I'll make no apologies. You wish to sacrifice us to the four elemental Empyreans, is that it? Yes. I won't apologize for that, either. It matters not. Your sins are nothing a mere apology could ever absolve. I know. At least you're aware of how selfish you are. Good for you, then. Remember this well, Lord of Calamity. No matter how many times I am reborn, I will act the same. As will I. And I as well. Did you say something? Just dreaming is all. But I know now how deep my sins run. Velvet, there's something I've wanted to talk to you about. It's... it's about the Therians. And about Lafayette. Let me guess. The link between us and Inominat. Yes. There's no way of knowing what will happen until we actually try, but... You don't have to worry about me. I said it before. Best just to blame all the wickedness of the world on the Lord of Calamity. Don't you try to shoulder all of this yourself! We exorcists are just as much at fault for letting things come to this. So let me ponder what to do about Kamoana and the rest. But you need to think about Lafayette. There, I've said my piece. I don't know which of us is more stubborn. Still, I've got to face the truth. I've got to tell him. Oh good! This place hasn't been suppressed yet. We're unloading! 
Give me a hand, will ya? Hey, you listening? Sorry. Something just feels weird. Like there's something tugging at my thoughts. Yeah, I've been hearing a lot of that lately. But pull yourself together, yeesh! Yet, being the operative term here. We'd better get a move on. Benwick, don't leave Kamoana or Medissa's domain, got it? The Therians are part of Inominat. They should be able to resist suppression to some extent. Aye, aye. You watch yourself too, first mate. Mount Killerhouse is at the northern edge of Northgand. Bit of a trek. It'd be nice if we could resupply along the way. There's a town, Mercio, near the foot of the volcano. It faces the sea, but the currents lately have been too strong to approach it by water. However, the land route should still be clear. The whole continent has been getting colder of late, not just Northgand. Colder? Could it have something to do with the Nominat? Or maybe it's because the elemental Empyreans are asleep. Both sound possible. But think too hard about the cold, and it'll give you the shivers. Yeah, but even so... Whatever the case, our course remains the same. We'll head to Mercio and work from there. My son came home from the capital and said he'd take over the family fishing business. That was always my dream. But is it really best for the world? For him to waste his talents on such a primitive activity? Dad, what are you saying? I thought we talked about this. You should use your education to help the country and people all across the world. That is the way of reason. That guy is acting really oddly. Wait, we talked about this? Yeah, you agreed that I should use my knowledge to advance fishing technology and stabilize the world's food supply. Remember? Oh, yes, that's right. Shape up, Dad. What's the problem? Drinking too much? Just a nightcap before bed. If you need some rest, I'll take the boat out myself today. <laughs> That'd be the day. Like I'd put you in charge. You're not ready to take the boat out by yourself. An ill-fated fisherman's fortune. His memories are muddied. But is it divine will that dulls his wits? Or drink? A sailor who can't handle his drink is just as shameful as one who gets seasick. when you come home tonight. As the world gets colder, the long-armed crab's habitat expands. Do your best out there today. If the crabs breed too quickly, it will affect the fish. Hey, that guy is... Daddy? You're acting weird. Oh, sorry about that. My mind just wandered away from me there for a second. If you do that on your boat, you'll fall into the sea. Yeah, that's right. I'll be careful. Good luck out there. That boy's father... He was acting strangely. The suppression is starting to affect people out here, too. We opened our arms and welcomed that vagabond into our town. But despite our kindness, he robbed us, started fights, caused trouble. Then he stole a boat and escaped. But I was the one that let him go. I'm guilty, too. We have to be strict with criminals. Rogues always seem to drift into hell of ease, don't they? Huh? Were we talking about something? Wait, did you forget what you just said? Yeah, I hope I didn't say anything strange. We were talking about how nice of a guy you were. Huh? Don't be so hard on yourself, okay? Huh? I see you're at it again. Am I that predictable? That stance. 
It's called nothingness, right? A clear state of mind and all that. <laughs> Does it look meditative or something? I wish it was, but really it's the exact opposite. It brings out all my negative thoughts. My hatred, my doubts, my ego, my anger. I take up my sword to cut myself free of such wrongful emotions. At least, that's what I used to think. But that's just not possible, is it? Not for anyone. Hell, even if I could let go of that part of myself, I'm not sure I'd want to. Because if you let go of your desire to kill Shigure, you'd lose your purpose in life? My spiteful thoughts, my wrongful feelings, my pride, my inner contradictions. All these are parts of who I am. Through practice, I learn to embrace who I am, the good and the bad, and become the swordsman only I can be. That's the only way I will achieve what cannot be done. Defeating Shigure. And Shigure. He's already at peace with his inner self. Exactly. And so are you. You really think so? I do. That's why I will never give up. Besides, I still need to repay my debt to you. <laughs> well, I look forward to seeing the final results. That's for sure. here than last time you're right it was merely freezing before now it goes straight to the bone allow me to warm not nessa uh, uh, oh the stasis are going around what oh, so cold if it's this bad here i dread to think of what the guyberg ice field is like the tundra past mount killer house is it really that cold? I've stayed up in the mountains many times for my training. With all the snow, I imagine it'd be pretty rough for a normal human. Why are you sneezing all of a sudden? Demons aren't supposed to feel cold. Ah, a snowflake just flew up my nose and... Achoo! You're sneezing too. My hair was blowing around and tickled my nose. But according to the old book I read, it isn't supposed to snow much around Guyberk. Because of lava from the volcano and the Earth's natural heat. I bet the book calls it Guyberk Plains, too. Yeah, it says Mount Killerhouse was highly active, and the area used to be famous for its hot springs. But now it's... Uh... What? Why are you all staring? They're all expecting you to sneeze, I think. Everyone else is doing it! Now give us a good show! Ah. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh, sorry, everyone. No sneezes here. I'll practice for next time. Ah, oh, good grief. That's three Nordals collected, and one to go. Right. Usually that turtle shows up right about now. What gives? 
Turtles, loiters, embroiders? You mean, the Turtles is late because he's taking too much time getting a new design for his robe? I knew you could follow along, my dear little oyster. Should we wait for him a bit longer? I'm sure your sister's reply has to be arriving soon. I don't write her those letters expecting to get a reply. They're more like an apology for not coming home to see her. But you can't go home because of the Reaper's curse, right? So why do you need to send letters and gifts? Soon after I left, my sister wrote me a letter. She said, I don't care if it's dangerous. I want to be with you. Maybe the old me, once I realized there was no fixing this curse, would have gone home prepared to do everything in my power to protect her. But I'm not the old me. Haven't been since I met Eifried and his crew. I understand. You found your place on that ship. Even if you lifted the curse, you wouldn't move back home. Do you think your sister knows that? I haven't told her directly, but I'm sure she's realized it. She's smart, and she's empathetic. That's why she never sends me a reply. You mean because she respects that you've chosen your way of life? That's probably how she sees it, yes. But understanding does not preclude loneliness. I think she doesn't reply as a way of showing that she disapproves. And you keep on sending those letters by way of atonement. I don't think it's anything so noble as that, but sure. You're probably not too far off the mark. A brother writing letters knowing he'll never get a reply. And a sister waiting for a brother she knows will never come home. You two make it so damn complicated. Just talk it out face to face and make up already. It's not that hard. Mm. At least the person you care about is still alive. Velvet. <sighs> Are we done here? Let's go. Yeah. 
It's only a bit further to the town of Mercio. And once we're past Mercio, we'll find our destiny on Mount Killaros. I know it's supposed to be cold here, but I didn't think it would be this cold. Reviving the elemental Empyreans is bound to alter this weather. Huh. I'm not sure how much warmer it'll get in the time we'll still be alive. Keep moving. The cold and the climb don't matter. We have to move forward. We can't stop until the elemental Empyreans have been revived. Die! No escape! 